Hello everyone. Welcome to Infra Experts. Today's topic is installing Oracle 19C RAC on Windows. And the OS which we'll be using in here is Windows Server 2012 Release 2. You can see from Google, you can type and you can check what are all the versions, OS versions which are supported in from Oracle 19C. So in here we will be using OS as Windows Server 2012 Release 2. Node 1 will name will be Rack 1. Node 2 name will be Rack 2. And the IP address, public IP address for Node 1 will be 172.168.190.1. Public the VIP address will be 172.168.190.3. Similarly, 192.168.190.1 will be the private IP. So this goes the same for public for node 2 where we'll be using incrementing the values by 1 and we'll be using 172.168.190.10, 20 and 30 for our scan IPs and since this is a domain controller we need to raise in here so in our first video we'll be seeing in our first session we'll be seeing how to install a domain controller how to configure domain controller and which includes your active directory setup and also your dns setup after which in our next session we'll be seeing how to install oracle grid infrastructure and oracle rack binaries over here so one more thing i would like to say in here is that there will be many issues which we'll be facing uh, while installing the, your grid infrastructure because I do not have that much amount of resource to keep three servers. One separate for your domain controller and two for your each nodes. Because Oracle recommends your domain controller to be a separate server where you should not install your Oracle services. But since I have less amount of resources since my laptop supports just 16 GB of RAM. That's why I am not able to proceed with one more setup. So in here you can see I'm having rack one and rack two installed. And here we'll be also seeing how to share the disk. So currently what we need to do from your virtual media manager, you can create the disk and I have already created this disk. So 40, 41, 42, 43, these are the data and OCR disk, which we'll be using. And these three disks will be used for our FRA. So currently it is, I have shared just one of the disk. I will show you one of them and you can proceed with the others likewise. So what we need to do, let's go to disk management. You can do it from here also, or you can go ahead with your disk part. From disk part, you can do list disk. And you can see here that one of the disk is present with free and with this, create part free. So if you run this, this will be done. But let me go ahead with the graphical interface itself. So similarly like this, we need to add all the disk over here, right? So you can see now what we need to do. I need to add this new simple volume. Do not assign letter. Do not format the volume. Finish. So here I need to refresh it. So once this is refreshed, one volume name will be assigned to it. So I need to just change the drive letter, remove it and it will be as a raw disk, it will be present in here. So like this, I need to add all the disk over here. So I will pause the video until all the disk are added. So let us go in here, disk part. So you can see 440 GB and 320 GB disk have been added. Now what I need to do, you can see from here that the computer name is different. So I need to change the computer name. So how do I change it? Go in here, properties. And from here, this is rack one. Let me change the name, rack one. Right now the work group will be this. We need to add it to a domain after domain controller is added. And let me do the, this will 
ask for a restart. Let me do the same thing over here also. This will be rack 2, right? So this is restarting. Now, one more thing that we need to do in here is stopping the firewall, disabling the firewall. So let me go to control panel. And in control panel, let me go to Windows Firewall. And from here, let me just stop it. Okay, done. Let me do the same thing over here in Rack 2. So this is done. Now, I need to assign the IP addresses. From here, let me assign the IP address. Let me deselect this one and in IPv4, let me give the IP addresses. So this is 1 and the default gateway is 100. This is my primary DNS. This is my secondary DNS. Similarly, for my private IP address, let me deselect this one from IPv4. 192.168.191 The gateway being the same. The DNS servers being the same. Let me do the same thing in my rack 2 also. Go to properties and for this one it will be 172.168.192 The gateway being the same and here my primary DNS will be the server itself. Similarly for my private IP also let me change it. So this is done. Now change the name, disable firewall, everything is done. Let's go via the document. So this we have done already. Now let's go ahead and create that domain controller. So for create before creating the domain controller, let us do one more thing. Let us install VMware tools. So this will take some time. This is needed just in this one because we need this for sharing the disk right and once this is installed it will ask for a restart so let me reboot it and in here let me go to from either from manage or from here also go to add roles and features next role based next and take active directory domain services next next and then install after installing this it won't be asking for a reboot but once you create your domain controller once you configure your domain controller it will ask for a reboot so this we need to create this domain controller just in one of the servers so I will just pause the video until this is done. So this is installed. Now from here promote this server to a domain controller. Add a new forest and in here let me give the name. So this is my domain root domain. This takes some time for it to populate. Now what I need to do I need to give the password over here. I hope I have given the password name. Next the, this will auto populate as infra experts since my root domain name is infra experts.com this will be auto populated so it has come now next next you can check whether everything is fine or not infra experts.com the net bios name is this forest functional level which is for windows server 2012 r2 and it will be verifying the prerequisites right now after which you can install and if you click install the server automatically reboots at the end of the promotion operation so it uh, as i said after this in the configuration it will be rebooting on its own so all prerequisite checks uh, completed successfully let me proceed with the install i will pause in the video until this is completed so this is done now it will be rebooting my server
So I will pause the video until this server is rebooted. So you can see in here that my server is rebooted and while logging it is asking it is going ahead with the domain itself. Now since this is configured, let me go to DNS from tools and in here let me just expand in it first forward lookup zones in forward lookup zone let me just delete this thing. and from infra experts also let me delete this entry let me delete these three entries and this one too let me go to common prompt ns lookup rack one so you can see that it is showing just one ip now what i need to do i need to add my like in etc host we are adding and uh, like we did in our oracle rack for linux uh, for our uh, creating our name servers and all here also we need to add the entries so rack one is there rack two the ip address being 172.168.192.2 then rack one hyphen vip 172.168.190.3 rack 2 hyphen vip 172.168.190.4 then rack 1 hyphen private ip private 192.168.190.1 similarly rack 2 hyphen private 192.168.190.2 now we need to add See how many IPs are there? Six. So total nine IPs. So next three will be for scan name. So my scan name is CRS prod hyphen scan. 172.168.190.10. Let me just copy it. 172.168.190.20. 172.168.190.30. So this is done. My forward lookup zone is created for all. You can check it from here to rack two hyphen private. Let me ping rack two hyphen private. It is not pinging. Rack two. It is not pinging. Why is it not pinging? Because my after installing this, my domain network firewall gets on. And we need to disable this too. Now let me see. So this is still not pinging. Let me check my rack 2. From rack 2, let me go to firewall. You can see that this is on. I missed 2. And now it is pinging. So we are fine with our setup right now, right? Now, this is that's not all. We need to make entries for our reverse lookup zone. So, right click on it, go to new zone, next, primary zone, keep it as default, IPv4, add the entries, whatever entries you add in here, this will be coming as reverse in here. Okay, you can see. 172.168.190. So this is done. Now in here, I need to add my entries. New pointer PTR. And in here, what all entries I need to add? The VIP and the public IP. That's enough. So let me give the name as rack one dot infra experts dot com. So this is done. Similarly, let me add for node 2, rack 2, similarly, rack 1 VIP, similarly for rack 2 VIP. So, this is done. Now, I need to proceed with my node 2 right now. So, in my node 2, what do I need to do? Currently, nothing is there. I need to install my DNS server over here. So, in here, let me select this DNS. 
server and then install restart the destination server automatically if required so i will pause the video until this installation and restart complex so my installation succeeded now let me just restart it to be on the safer side you can see in here that it is connecting it is still not connected to any domain that's why come like this next what do i need to do i need to add this pc to a domain let me add it so this is currently getting added and once this is this gets added it will ask for a reboot so this is done now let me add the dns over here these are the same steps which we did in our node 1 right so in here let me go to new zone let me give the name now in here let me just delete these two entries and then let me add what we need to add rack 1 ip address green 172.168.190.1 then rack 1 hyphen vip 172.168.190.3 rack 2 hyphen vip 172.168.190.4 rack 1 hyphen private 192.168.190.1 rack 2 hyphen private 192.168.190.2 then the scan name the last one so we are done with this let me go to command prompt ns lookup rack 1 rack 2 then rack 1 hyphen private ping rack 1 rack 1 hyphen private so this is fine let me go to reverse lookup zone and then add the entries over here so this is done let me check in here okay everything is fine everything is fine previously i was getting one error as if you have seen dns request timed out so after creating this reverse lookup zone it is working fine so currently we are done with our dns setup next thing what we need to do is we need to proceed with our user domain user we will be seeing it now so for domain user let me go to server manager from tools let me go to active directory users and computers and in here in users let me create the groups first so the first group is dba 
let me create o install group the group scope is global group type secure security group. next being asm admin so these three groups i am creating now what i need to do i need to create an user so the username being this user logon name let it be this user cannot change password password never expires i'm giving this you can give it at your own convenience whatever you want so my user is created now what i need to do let me go to properties go to member of and in here let me add the groups my bad then o install then dba and also the administrator right so this is added apply okay so this is done now let me go to this node and in here let me go to users and computers so from where i can go it from computer management let me go to users local users administrator not administrator let me go to group in administrators let me add oracle so this is added so we are right now fine with this now since we are fine with this one more thing which i need to do in here is i need to add the shared disk so for adding the shared disk i need to shut down my system let me see without shutting down my system if i can add or not let me go in here let me go to shared folders and add it auto mount make permanent let me check whether it is getting added or not okay it got added now i need to format this and let me make the directories over here the same directories needs to be made in your both nodes stage then let me give the name as let me check it from here what all names i have given let me just copy paste it so this is created over here now let me proceed with the same on my note 2 in here i won't be able to copy paste you can okay yeah, yeah i won't be able to copy paste because vmware tools has not been installed stage then what was it 19 and then great okay this was not formatted so this is done and let me just do it so this is done now what i need to do i need to copy both my files let me copy it at one go itself both my files from my system to my vm and then i will be unzipping it so this will be covered in our next session where we will be seeing how to install grid infrastructure as well as database binary so thanks a lot for watching the video as i said earlier there will be some issues with your installation and 
this is not a foolproof approach although the steps performed in here are same but since domain controller needs to be in a separate system that's why we will be facing many issues and probably you won't be able to create your database also so still if you want to see the approach please go ahead and please wait for our next session to come in thanks a lot for watching the video take care